Hey guys, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a book unhaul. This is the first time I'm doing an unhaul on my channel and it feels really weird because as a book holder, I have always done hauls. I think I've done four, five hauls so far. I, I don't even remember how many. But to be giving away books and not bringing them, of course, there's a book haul scheduled for the end of the month. But that's another matter altogether. But giving away these books, uh, it at first it felt like it. I was doing them an injustice and I was doing myself an injustice. Like what if I want to reread this book sometime in the future? But then I sat down and told myself that if there was no chance that a book was getting picked up again, then it just had to go. So, and that's how I ended up with I think 28 or 29 books that I will be unhauling today. So instead of selling these books, I thought it would be a good idea to actually give these books away to the people who have shown me so much love over the past couple of years. So I decided to hold giveaways on my Instagram account. So if you'd like to win any one of these books, then please go over there and give me a follow. And I will be holding one giveaway every week in which the, I either give away one book or it could be multiple books that depends on what my head is thinking at that moment my head is thinking wow so I won't take more of your time let's just get on with it and let me share with you all the books that I am unhauling all the books that I am giving away so the first book is The Earth, My Butt and Other Big Ground Things by Carolyn Mackler I did not enjoy this as much as I thought I would despite the very quirky title I did not think that it was that great that I would keep it and I would showcase it on my shelves when I know that I will not be reading this anytime soon and even its sequel is quirky it's called the universe is expanding and so am I and it feels like a very personal punch at my me right now the next book here is Jubilee by Shelley Harris uh, this is also a book that I did enjoy reading but I know that I won't be picking this up anytime soon and it's not something that I absolutely love because if it was something that I absolutely love I wouldn't be putting it on this list right anyway this is about uh, 1977 the year of the jubilee a photographer captures a moment forever a street party with bunting and union jacks flattering okay the next book is Slapstick by Kurt Vonnegut uh, this was my foray into Vonnegut's writing and I did not I don't know what to think about this even months after reading it. This is creepy. It's like it has so much incest. It drove me crazy. I was like what is going on? Wilbur Swain and his twin sister are so immensely hideous, helpless and vile in their infancy that uh, their wealthy parents are forced to send them to live on a nearby asteroid. Okay, something very weird happens in this book and I know that I won't be reading this again. I know for sure. The full name of this book is Slapstick or Lonesome No More. So this next one is a popular one in Indian reading circles. I know that I did not enjoy it that much and I hope that someone else will. So the book I'm talking about is Punachi by Permal Murugan. As an entirety, as a concept, I love this book. I even gave this four stars. But I know that I will not be able to get through this book again. This is an allegory of sorts. I did get the message but it was not a style that I am really fond of. So this next book is a second hand book, a second third hand book because it's in not a great, it's not in a great condition at the moment and I bought it second hand from someone. The book is The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. I know that I won't be reading this anytime soon. Maybe in the future I will uh, buy it and I will read it. But at the moment I don't see myself reading this book at all. The next book is The Other Woman by Jane Green. This was, this was a book that I read in early 2018 and this is about a mother-in-law, not a other woman as is usually taken but this is about a mother-in-law and I did enjoy this book but not as much that I want to you know hold on to it and I want to hold it. It was good but I, I don't have any particular attachment to it. Oh my god the next book when I said that I didn't like this next book, people were like, what? How is that even possible? This is one of the most amazing retellings of all time. And uh, I went like, okay, but I didn't like it. And the book in question is Home Fire by Kamila Shamsi. And the whole time I was going, what? 
See, to be fair, up to half the book, I was like, oh my god, this writing is so beautiful. And then after that, things went crazy so fast that I was, I couldn't, I couldn't process that things could go that fast. It felt too out of this world for a book like this. I know I read fantasy and I read stuff about dragons and everything, but it's all about the context setting. And that was what I did not like about this book. And I'm like, the next book is Dharma Yodha Kalki Avatar of Vishnu. This is the first book in the Kalki series by Kevin Missal. I bought this book thinking that I will be able to get through it. Uh, there was some contest or something going on and I thought I will be able to get through it. But of course I did not. And now I don't see myself reading this though I've heard a lot of good things about this book. And uh, maybe I want to but I don't see myself reading it. I keep repeating stuff but I, I seriously don't because there are hundreds of books on my TBR and I'm not even kidding when I say hundreds. There are literally 300 plus books on my TBR. So it's better that someone else gets the chance to read this and maybe they'll enjoy it and do it some justice. So this next book I bought with a lot of excitement saying that oh my god I found this book for such a for such an amazing price. I got it for 150 rupees I think and uh, now I feel like oh god if I read this book now I have to complete the series. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to unhaul it and that book is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first in the Mortal Instruments series and uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. People keep raving about it. I have like a f tens of series I need to get to which I already have in my position. So I'm like I'm not going to you know go and buy more stuff because I have to complete this series. I'm good with it. So this next book is The Copper Beach by Maeve Binchy. I read The Scarlet Feather and I thought that I'd enjoy this book as well. But my problem is uh, this book has a very tiny font and I get headaches when I read tiny fonts. Which is why I will give away this one. I, I enjoy Maeve Binchy's writing quite a bit and even despite that, like I, I cannot take the tininess of that font. So. That is that's the only reason why I'm unhauling this book. Okay, this is going to be haphazard, so please, please ignore it because there are a lot of other books coming also. So this next book is a hardcover that I got at the book chore lock the box sale, but uh, we got a better edition of this book, uh, and I'm like. Okay, I don't need two copies. The book I'm talking about is Louisa May Alcott's Little Women. The movie is coming out and I still haven't read the book as I thought I would but thoughts are not everything I discovered and I, I'm sure I'm not going to read it anytime soon. It's beautiful. It's old but it's beautiful and uh, I, I feel bad giving this up. I, I don't feel bad of, about any other book but I feel bad giving this one up. So this next book is also the first in a series and I was very excited when I bought this book and then things happened and then my TBR piled up even more and I'm like I'm not going to get to this one anytime soon because I have two more books that I have to get in this series and I don't think I will be doing that. So the book I'm talking about is Labyrinth by Kate Moss. If you can see this. It's, it has a gorgeous cover. I do a lot of cover buys, but I won't be able to finish the series, complete the series as in get the books for the series. And I hope that this reaches someone else who will be able to finish the series and enjoy this book as much as I was hoping to enjoy. This next book is Blinkers Off by Andhari Vajit. This is also one that I got at the lock the box sale if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, I don't remember. I got this last year, I think. And uh, I don't see myself reading this, even though I love Andalik Vajid, Vajid's writing. I don't see myself reading this anytime soon. Her books are usually very fun, they are very easy to read, but uh, I don't know, I picked this up a couple of times, but I just couldn't bring myself to open it and read it. So I hope someone else will be able to do that. So this next one is also one that I got at the Bookstore Lock the Box sale, and uh, though I find it very interesting. I find it amazing too. Uh, the cover is also gorgeous. This one. 
I know again I I'm like a broken record I know I won't be reading this anytime soon so I am sending this over to a friend who will enjoy reading this I know she will enjoy reading this this next book is uh like it's not a great edition like the print is small and it's also fading out in many places fading out as in it's not bad you can read it but uh, it's not like any other books but it's it's good but i know that i won't be picking up picking this up because i have another edition of i have 100 short stories of o henry so the book is this one This is humongous and I, I'm not going to be reading this because all, I'm already halfway through the other book. Okay, don't fall, please. Do not fall. <sighs> so these next two books I'm giving away because uh, I had lent this trilogy to my friend, to one of my friends and she lost the first book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhaul these. So the books I'm talking about are Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. Yeah, I am giving these away. I did enjoy the first book, The Hunger Games and uh, Mocking Jay, but Catching Fire was a bit of a drab read, though the movie was better than the book in this case. I mean, I feel bad uh, giving these away. Like, I, I uh, broke a record. Maybe someone who needs these first, uh, these second and third books will be able to get them and enjoy them so this next set of books uh five of them i got at the bookstore lock the box sale and uh this is a huge series like it has i think 15 books 16 books i don't remember exactly but it has a lot of books and i have numbers one two three four five and eight of the series so i will be giving this away in a bunch that much i know so the books i'm talking about are the Number one ladies detective agency series by Alexander McCall Smith. I have, I got two, three, four, five and eight at the bookstore lock the box sale. And this one I ordered from bookstore. So this next book is Dumbledore by Julie Murphy. And uh, I did not enjoy this as much. I mean, it felt repetitive and it felt, uh, I don't want to be bad mouthing a book just because I'm unhauling it, but it, it just, wasn't for me so I hope that someone else will read this book and will enjoy it it's the joy of giving so this next book is another first in another series I did not enjoy this as much and I don't know if I will enjoy the other so okay a lot of talking happening which is supposed to happen in a video but a lot of unnecessary talking happening that also was unnecessary the book is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline, Madeline Langle. I can never get her name right. I'm really sorry about that. This is a book that uh, I read for the Femmach Fest, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember when, but I did read this and I was like... Uh... And this has like four books after this. And I know that we are not going to get those books. This next book I read for the Reading Women Challenge and I, I was okay with it uh, because it was a lot of women power and the book I'm talking about is Top Girls by Carol Churchill this is a play plain and simple it's a play and uh, I wanted to love this book because of how because of what it's talking about but I didn't enjoy it as much so I'm hoping that anyone else who's a play enthusiast they will be able to enjoy this more than I did this next book is one that I was very excited to get and then when I read it I'm like ah, this this has quotes from only few women I was expecting so much more the book I'm talking about is Woman's Hour by published by BBC Radio 4 I mean the, this has quotes from interviews of women that have who have appeared on uh, BBC Radio 4 and though some of them are very good some of them I felt that they were just Speaking of speeches and just pacing them here and they were not quote worthy in my opinion the next book is ignited minds by apj abdul kalam he was an inspirational man he is still an inspirational man and though i can't get the motivation to pick this book and read it because i've had a lot of his works and i'm hoping that somebody will find this useful and somebody will enjoy reading this it's just not for me which is why i am unholing it this next book is 
Chanakya has chant by Ashwin Sanghi and I know that I am not going to read Ashwin Sanghi's books because somehow I don't find them as according to my taste as I would like them to be. So here comes the second Perumal Murugan book and that is Songs of a Coward by Perumal Murugan. Obviously it's a Perumal Murugan. This is a collection of poems and most of them I was like what is he trying to tell and I realized that it's just not for me. There are so many other people who will enjoy reading this. It was just not for me. This next book I read very recently and uh, I did not enjoy it as much as I wanted to enjoy it and which is why I'm unhauling it and that book is All Among the Bali by Melissa Harrison. I read this also for the Reading Women Challenge and it was for a prompt that said uh, read something about nature and this felt really filled with unnecessary explanations and I was, I was really not there for that. This next book will be a shocker but not also not a shocker because I've already spoken about not liking it. The book I'm talking about is The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. I found Margaret Atwood's writing very disconnected, too many details and somehow it feels like the burden of connecting the sentences and making sense of whatever she's written there, it felt that burden was on the reader's shoulders and that is not something I like. If you're telling a story, Tell a story. That's the whole point of storytelling. But I know a lot of people, a majority of readers like Margaret Atwood and I'm glad because if I'm giving this book away, it might as well go to someone who likes Margaret Atwood's writing or someone who wants to try Margaret Atwood's writing. This next book is one that I bought with so many expectations and maybe that's where I went wrong. I shouldn't have had so many expectations from this book because it's unfair to it as well. The, the book is Red Lipstick by Lakshmi. I've already uh, spoken about this book and I didn't like the way uh, the book is written as well as uh, the concepts, the ideals, the ideologies of the author, transgender uh, activist Lakshmi and it felt like she was being judgmental when she was also being judged again so she should be understanding of what happens to everyone else so that was not the case so the last book i'm unhauling is another Maeve Binchy book and that is white thorn woods by Maeve Binchy. <gasps> ah! this book is one that uh, i was very excited to read but then halfway through i'm like what is going on the writing is good it's just the story the plot line that is just not for me. And this is a hardcover. So I thought instead of keeping it, why not give it away? Again. Okay, so it's perfectly. So those are all the books that I'm unhauling or giving away, you could say. I will be giving these away on my Instagram account. I leave the link in the description box. They are always in the description box. My socials are always in the description box. So if you'd like to win any of these, then go and follow me there and you can stay tuned to those. I will be giving away these books in batches. It's either one book or multiple books every week from January. So if you'd like to win that, then head over to my Instagram. So what did you think of this video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Have you read these books? Do you want to win these books? Do you not want to read these books? Have you done an unhaul recently? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please like it and share to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.